So this is Dr. Omada Idachaba of Healthfully Organized Living and today I want to share with you a little bit about myself and the services that I have to offer you. Um, to begin with, I graduated from University of Ibada Medical School, the College of Medicine in 1991 and following this I did my residency here at Michigan State University and finished in 98. Following my residency, I uh, worked for the health department, the Ingham County Health Department to be specific, for about five to six years, and thereafter I went into private practice. All this was while I was in Michigan. And after my Michigan uh, stay, I moved down to sunny Florida, Orlando, where I now work with Family Physicians Group of Apopka. Now to tell you a little bit about what I do, I am an internist and sometimes people wonder what it means to be an internist. An internist in very short form and a, a great summary is a doctor for adults. So we see patients that are 18 and over and we've been specially trained to uh, manage chronic illnesses. So a lot of um, uh, diabetes, your hypertension, um, COPD or emphysema, those chronic illnesses come to us. Now to contrast this with family practice, because you might have that question, how does this differ from family practice? Family practice sees patients across the spectrum of life. So they see the babies to the grandparents, whereas we focus in on only adults. Um, so that's basically what I do. What to expect when you do come to see me? Well, when you come to see me, you will expect, of course, care and attention specifically to you and the details of your health. And you will, what I will give you is a listening ear, but most of all, what I think will define a relationship is that it's going to be a partnership between I as the doctor and you as the patient. And I keep saying this over and over again, you get out of your health what you put into it. But I hope that as you come in to see me, we'll partner together, together for your own best health outcomes. Now, very briefly, I also want to share with you what I do on the side, which actually is part and parcel of who I am and what I stand for. I do love to see patients empowered and involved in their health care. So what I've done is I've come up with some materials that will help patients get organized with their health. And I'm going to share this with you. Now the first thing I'm going to share is this. These are stationary um, notepads that help or assist patients to gather their thoughts before they come to the doctor. And this particular one is the essential questions for my next doctor's visit, which essentially lists questions, startup questions that you can ask your doctor when you go to see them. Questions like, um, is my condition getting better or worse? What is my condition? What are the treatments? What referrals do I need at this time? So that's that. Then the next one that I have is the next doctor's visit. And this is very, very important when you're going to see your doctor. You want to list or itemize what is important to you so that when you get there, you're not all over the place. And this will help you to gather your thoughts, put them in one place so they can take them to your doctor's office. It's called the next doctor's visit. I have one for kids too, and as a matter of fact, to quickly share with you a story of a, a, a parent recently saw this and said, oh my God, I wish I had this when I went to my uh, kid's doctor's appointments. I felt it was so unproductive because we we're all over the place. Well, this will help you not to be all over the place because here again, you can prepare to go to see your pediatrician or your family practitioner because all your details will be on a sheet of paper. I also have another one which is medication refills and this helps you organize your refills so that you know exactly when your medications are coming due. I have put various headings, so blood pressure medications, stomach medications, cholesterol medications, heart medications, and as these refills call, come up, all you need to do is just write down the medication under its category. This is the medication refills. I'm very excited about this one. This is the adult medication list. 
The reason why I came up with this adult medication list is because I found out in my practice that some adults will come with a long list of medications, some of which were the same, but they didn't know the difference between these medications because maybe one was a generic name and the other was a brand name, but they were taking both of them at the same time. Now, what this list does is it lists the actual brand and generic name side by side. So all you need to do is fill in the dose of the medication that you're taking. I've also categorized them into the various systems. So blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, lungs, allergy, mood, all on this sheet of paper here. I also have one for kids. So your kids can benefit from this too. Generic and brand names listed side by side to avoid any sort of com confusion or polypharmacy, which is taking so many medications at once, at um, one time. So there you have it. These are my products, and that's a little bit about me. And you can also visit my website. It is www.amadaidachabamd.com.